Hello and welcome back to Culinary Haven. I've always fancied the idea of having a polenta fries instead of potato fries as a side, but every time I ordered them in a restaurant I was disappointed. They were never crunchy enough, they were sort of bland, and then I realized to make them taste the way I want them to be, I have to make them myself. And I did. And today I'll show you how to make polenta fries at home that will be golden and crunchy on the outside, soft, fluffy and flavorsome on the inside. And it will only cost you a fraction of the price you would pay for one portion in a restaurant. Let's begin. Before we begin, just to clarify in case you, you're not sure what exactly polenta is. Polenta is a dish made of boiled cornmeal originated in Italy. You can eat it hot, you can eat it cold, or you can cook it, let it set, cut it out into chunky chips and then fry them. And that's what we're doing today. To make our polenta fries will need 300 grams of fine cornmeal, one chicken cube, half a pack of chives, usually a pack is small, 20 grams of chives, so we only need half of that, 10 grams, and a small bunch of fresh parsley, two liters of boiling water, and one teaspoon of salt. To cook our polenta, we'll need about two and a half to three liter saucepan that you fill with two liters of water and bring the water to the boil. So the, the water is almost boiling and it's time to add one chicken cube or a vegetable cube if you wish, just a little bit of flavor and one teaspoon of salt. That's enough. And just wait until the water is boiling and the, the cube, the stock is dissolved. It's boiling now and we won't need the lid anymore. And now we'll just turn it down a little bit and pour in the cornmeal. A very a very gradually stirring constantly that's it and right now it looks like a very thin soup but it won't be now we're going to cook it for 15 minutes in total but after about 12 minutes we are going to add the chives and parsley turn it down and cook it stirring occasionally for 12 minutes see how quickly it goes from just a pot of water with a little bit of cornmeal in it into a thick porridge so keep stirring keep checking 12 minutes and pretty quickly in about two minutes it will be already very thick or seems like it's very thick but don't worry about that don't add any more water just keep stirring it and keep cooking it for 12 minutes on a very um, low heat let it be it's been cooking for seven minutes now it's already very very thick but it's not ready yet just keep stirring and keep cooking it for another five minutes. We need to cook it for 12 minutes before we add the herbs. 
very very thick now we are ready to add the herbs so we need to very finely chop the chives and the parsley just as finely as you can I tried to make a polenta using dried uh, herbs it didn't look good uh, color wise and it didn't taste good to me so fresh herbs very very fine chop Don't leave the polenta unattended for a long time. We don't want it to stick to the uh, bottom of the pan. Just go back to it, give it a good stir, and go and chop the parsley. And again, a parsley a very finely, as finely as you can. Adding the herbs. Stir it in and cook for three minutes. And now we're going to pour it into a parchment lined uh, baking tray. This one is 30 by 20 centimeters or thereabouts. And you just pour all into the tray. Every bit out of it. If you use a bigger tray, they will just not be as thick, but it's not that important. I picked this tray because I like them to be really chunky. All done. And now just quickly smooth it out with a knife or a, an offset spatula so it's nice and even. And do it immediately as you pour it in uh, because it sets surprisingly quickly there you go now we're going to leave it as it is in the tray on the parchment for about say 30 minutes or so until it is slightly cooled and it will be set by then. We need it to be a cold, of course, before we slice them into chunky fries and uh, fry them. But the reason we need to take them out of the tray is because it's a metal tray, it's very hot, the polenta is very hot, there will be a lot of condensation, there will be a lot of moisture uh, on the bottom of the tray. So. Lift it out in about 30 minutes, I'll show you. Right, it's only been 20 minutes, but I can see that it's already set, well, set to the a point that we can lift it out of the tray because the tray is still very hot and it will just take much longer. So just lift it carefully from the tray and transfer it onto a, a towel or another tray that was a little bit tricky so just leave it don't do it in 20 minutes leave it for say 40 minutes then it will definitely be set and very easily removed from the tray onto either a paper towel or just a, a kitchen towel what we do here is just to make it cool faster and have less moisture we don't need we don't need moisture we don't want it to spit all over the place when we fry it and now we're just going to let it cool nicely for say um, 30 or 40 minutes wait until it cools and then put it in the fridge for a couple of hours until it's solid and easy to slice and fry and now it's completely cooled, solid, ready to fry. A couple of things to say about that, about frying. Um, unlike 
potato fries. These are cooked. They don't need any further cooking. All we're doing by frying them is just giving them this beautiful, crunchy, golden coating. So we need a high temperature in our oil to make it quick and efficient. And because of that, olive oil is not good. Olive oil has a very low smoking point. We need any um, vegetable oil, groundnut oil, sunflower oil, uh, canola oil, those types. And another thing, while I was researching and learning how to do it, how to make uh, polenta, I tried many uh, variations until I came up with my own. I have to say, uh, some suggest that you coat it, coat the um, chips when you cut the uh, cooked polenta, coat it in uh, cornmeal before you fry them. I would not recommend that because uh, cornmeal is not breadcrumbs. It's not cooked, it's just a raw uh, kernels that were ground. Uh, so it will be a very hard, crunchy, it won't, um, in my opinion, it won't um, any good to the fries. So we'll just leave them as they are, not coating them with anything, cut them into chunky chips and fry them in very hot oil. So prepare a board and the board will be slicing them on. Um, because I use such a small uh, baking tray, they're really, really uh, the uh, polenta very thick because I want the fries to be really chunky. If you will be using a standard size uh, baking tray, they will be, uh, of course, uh, thinner. But the size and the shape is entirely up to you. This is how I make them. Cut it like this and in three. And just cut them into strips. As you can see, they're completely solid. There is nothing you can do to damage them. And just cut them. If you want, you can cut them just in half or make them much smaller. It's the choice is yours. Now, preheat the oil to very, very hot. And just very carefully place them in. So it takes about five to seven minutes, depends on the temperature of the oil and of course on the size of the fries and also on how many are uh, fried um, at, um, at a time. But what we are looking for is this nice light golden color. Here we are, already light golden color, crunchy outside, soft, fluffy inside. And today I'm serving them with freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano, just a little bit on top, and two homemade dips, tomato, parsley and garlic, and ranch. I hope you will try them and find them delicious and really easy to make. Thank you for watching this episode of Culinary Haven. Now we're going to take a break and in the meantime, stay safe, enjoy the summer wherever you are. And until next time, bye.